Stick checks are very important skills that need to be mastered by players at a very early age. This is the second line of defense once players have learned to position themselves correctly and angle effectively. Hockey players, we want to talk about some stick checks now. What we want to talk about doing is if Corey's got the puck, I want it. It's my puck, I want to get it from him. He's stick handling with it, so I've got to figure out a way to get it. The two ways we want you to practice with are called the lift, where you lift the stick up, or the press. Now, if Corey's got it, what I want to do is come in, lift his stick, and take the puck myself. And now I've got it. I've done my job, I've gotten the puck from him, now I'm able to do something. Now, if he's got it like this, the other thing I can do is I can press down on him, and now I've got the puck again. Now the two times you'll probably see those checks used the most is when you're along the boards and you're taking the player out. You can lift this stick and take it yourself, or you can press down and maybe your teammate can come in and get the puck. But either way, we want you to battle hard for the puck. We want you to decide how much you want it and do everything you can to get it. Good job there, you guys. Okay, stop for a second, players. Now, this time, the player who's got the puck, you try to protect it, and the other player can try to take it any way he or she wants, lifting or pressing. Here we go. Boys and girls, we're going to talk now about poke checking the puck. What that means is that if the opponent has the puck, in this case Corey, what I want to try to do is knock the puck off his stick. Now this usually happens whether he's coming in on me on a one-on-one -on -one situation, whether I'm playing the rush, or possibly if Corey's in the corner and he's coming out at me. But it's when Corey's got good control, and what I want to be able to do is do everything possible to knock the puck off his stick. Now to do that, I can't be standing straight up. I've got to have good skate posture, my skates have to be solid, my legs have to be bent. I don't want my stick way out here because now I'm off balance. I don't want to be standing up here because I'm off balance. I want to be nice and comfortable. And as Corey starts to come in on me, what I can do is just poke check him. Just knock the puck off his stick. I've got it here. Let's say I try to poke check him but he's still able to protect the puck. Because I'm not really overexerting myself, I'm still in good shape here to keep good position and good balance. The other thing that might happen off this is if Corey stays right in front of me, sure I can poke check him, but if he starts to go to the side, then I might have to sweep check him. And what I'll do there is he'll start to go to the side and I'll throw my stick out and sweep check him. We'll give you an example of Corey coming in on me from here. What I want to do is I want to make sure I've lined up my shoulders properly. My outside shoulder closest to the boards is lined up with his inside shoulder. So now as he's coming, he's coming in on me, my stick's out, I'm able to poke check him. He turns around and goes and gets it again, comes in on me again. I've got good gap. 